Welcome to Exchange Education. Today we'll be learning about division. So what are we learning today? We're learning to share equally. It means that each person gets the same number of things. This is also known as equal sharing. Tom has 12 toys. He wants to share them equally among three friends. How much toys do each friend get? So let's use these cubes as example of toys. There are 12 toys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to arrange them to share equally among three friends. So I'm going to draw three friends out. One. Two and three. How do we share them equally among three friends? Let's give them one each and see where we go from there. You have one, you have one, and then you have one. One, two, three, one, two. 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, I have divided them equally by 3. So, we can see a pattern over here. They are now grouped into 3 groups. I'm going to circle them. 1 group, 2 group, 3 groups. So, after we have arranged them into 3 groups, and divided them into three groups, we're going to count how many toys are in each group. So, one, two, three, four. It is in groups of four. This is a group of four. This is a group of four, and this is a group of four. There are three groups of four. So, each friend gets four toys. There are three groups of four. One group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four. How much toys do each friend get? Each friend gets four toys. Because there are three groups or three friends, each friend gets four toys, three groups of four. Let's try another question. Divide 12 sweets into four equal groups. Here are 12 sweets on the right. How are we going to do it when it's already arranged this way and in a picture format? Well, we can divide them visually with our eyes and looking at patterns and we'll circle them to find the groups. We want to divide them to four equal groups. Let's look at it row by row. One row, two row, three rows. I can't divide them equally this way. How about we divide them equally this way? Let's count the columns. One column, two, three, four. Divide 12 sweets into 4 equal groups. Now, let's circle them to group them up. 1 group, 2 group, 3 groups, and 4 groups. How do we check if they are in equal groups? Each group must have the same amount. Let's check. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Each group has been equally divided. And there are four groups. One group, two group, three group, four groups. So I'm going to write here, there are four groups. And inside these four groups, there are three suites. One, 
two, three. There are three suites in each group. So there are four groups, four groups of three. One, two, three. And this is in one group. One group of three, one group of three, one group of three, one group of three. And there are four groups. So if I were to divide 12 suites into four equal groups, there are four groups of three. Each group has three suites. Each equal group has three suites. Share eight cubes equally between two children. So there are eight cubes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cubes. Let's try the method by giving each child one at a time. Yes, child one. This is child two. Two children. Uh, each must have equal amounts. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, and two. Each child has equal amounts of cube. The first child has one, two, three, four. He has a group of four cubes. Group of four. This child is the first group. This child is the second group. One, two, three, four. Another group of four. So there are two groups, one group, two group of four. One group, two groups, two groups of four, two groups of four, one, two, three, four. So if I were to share eight cubes equally between two children, each child gets four cubes. One child, four cubes. Another child, four cubes. Here's another question. There are 12 slices of cake. Pack them into six boxes equally. So, it's already been drawn for you. We can't separate them each into six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't do that. So we have to use our eyes and we're going to circle them into groups of six. Now, why groups of six? Because you want to put 12 slices of cake into six boxes equally. The six boxes represents groups. So you're going to put 12 slices of cake into six boxes, into six groups. So how do we do this? Let's pretend we're going to put them into rows one row two rows three rows now each row will represent a group but it's not six boxes it's not six rows there are only three rows here so we can't circle them this way how about the other way one box two box three box four box it still doesn't work let's try something else what if we were to do two? Let's try it with our marker. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups. Hey, we can put them equally into six boxes. Let's check if they're equal. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Each box or group has two slices of cakes in each box. So what does that mean? There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six groups. And in each group, there are two slices. So there are six groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, six groups of two.
groups of two. So if I were to pack 12 slices of cake into six boxes equally, they will have two slices in each box. Two slices in one box, two slices in one box, and so on. So there are two methods of separating. First, you can do it visually, and another way, give each one, each box one at a time. 12 slices of cake, and there are six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So after example, we have learned about sharing equally and that each person gets the same number of things, also known as equal sharing.